the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Here's a picture of it, the Leaning Tower. It's a place in Italy. Population of Pisa is about 91,000 people. Pisa is about four hours from Rome, three hours from Venice, almost three hours from Milan. In other words, the only reason you'd be going to Pisa is this tower. The way this tower was constructed, when they began to build, Pisa lies in a kind of a marshy area. The soil in different places was soft. As they began to build, it appeared that the soil was settled. And it took them 200 years to complete this project because it kept getting halted because of war and political conflict. When they came back to it, after the third level was completed, they noticed that it was leaning. They thought about how to correct it. As they continued to build, they noticed that the lean became a little bit more pronounced. And when they finished, it had about a five degree tilt. And now the news spread that this little crazy town in Pisa built this tower that's going to crumble and fall. And people came from all over to see this tower before it fell. They said, as soon as the wind blows, it's going to fall. The first earthquake that happens is it's clearly going to fall. So go and see it now before it falls. But the tower kept leaning. Five million people a year come to see this tower still leaning. <laughs> There's nothing great about the architecture. There's nothing great about this construction. There's nothing about it. The only thing it can claim is it's leaning. <laughs> Where'd you go? I went and saw the, the tower. You saw it. Yeah. What's it like? It's leaning. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something that draws five million people a year to see something that they can easily see, but they've got to witness it for themselves. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness. What a, what a peace is mine. Leaning. Isn't that a great witness? You see, we came from different foundations. Your foundation might not be solid right now under your feet, but as long as you are leaning, how was your day? I'm, I'm leaning. I'm leaning every day. How, every day is a good day. I'm, I'm just leaning. I'm leaning every day. People will come to a church if the church is still leaning. They will come to see you. They will come to you. They don't know why they're drawn to you. They're drawn to you. Nothing special about you. Not, no offense. There's nothing special about us. The only thing that they come to you for is they know that you, you're consistently leaning. You may not have everything together. It may not be where you want it to be, but all you can claim is as long as I live, until Christ comes, I just pray that I'm still leaning on his everlasting arms. What a blessing it is that you may not have it all together. And even when they tried to correct this, they found a way, because they thought it's starting to fall. They say, that we found a way to correct it. They said, no, let it lean. Sometimes your witness is not on you being perfect. Your witness is the fact that you're still leaning. Because <laughs> if you had it all together, you might, you might not lean anymore. <laughs> Sometimes you need something in your life to keep you leaning on Jesus. You just got to know that your faith is on the fact that you're never giving up. It's that leaning that kept you focused on him. Every day you get up and you realize that you're still leaning on him. Because if something tries to take away all of that, you say, no, no, I'd I'll, I'll rather have Jesus. It was in those times when you had to lean on him. In those times when you had to trust in him, you had to believe in him that he never fails us. He never fails us. Amen? Leaning.